friends, thanks again for joining me. So as you can see from the topic, today I'll be talking about prayer. Now this is something that I don't feel qualified to talk about, but it's uh, just something that's been put on my heart and I'm just going to share, I guess, sort of my quick little journey with it. Uh, I will also just put a link down below to an article that I found, which I thought was interesting. And it's called, What are the Different Types of Prayer? The website is something that I sometimes use when I have questions about things. So I will put that link there. But today what I'm going to be talking about is different. And uh, I think that my prayer journey has changed and evolved as, as I have as a Christian. And in the beginning, if it looked more like me just praying to God and just I guess just talking with him as if it was a conversation like we were equals or something like that and that's just where I was in my journey I guess at the time but now with this sort of revelation I guess I believe that that has changed how I pray and I'm sure I will continue to grow and change as a person and that will change my prayer life and and all those things so wherever you are is fine I think most of all it's important that you're just talking to God and uh, I think that you know it's not something that we want to make it look sort of religious or something like that and so, so it kind of touches in that but so I'm just going to read this passage from Matthew 6 and this is Jesus talking to his disciples he says when you pray don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father who sees everything will reward you. When you pray, don't babble on and on, on and on as the Galatians do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, for your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask. So it says, pray like this. I'm just going to only do the first two paragraphs in there. Starting with, our father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. So I think that this is something that I didn't quite grasp. And like I said, don't take this at this is how you should be praying or anything like that. Um, I'm just sharing my own journey. So wherever you are is fine. And... And just, like I said, if you can, if someone takes something away from this, that's great. But if not, just continue on. And most importantly, just continue to pray. And and the reason why I struggle with this, I should kind of just touch up on that, is because I know I have friends who have a hard time praying. And then I kind of struggle with the whole, okay, so it, like it says here, are we not supposed to pray with others? And obviously there's there's scripture in that in that article that I sh that will be sharing in that link. There's scripture that you know talks about corporate prayer and how there's strength in numbers and those type of things. So I don't know. That's what I was sort of battling with. What exactly am I supposed to talk about? So so just strictly my own experience when I was you know reading these passages when I did my study of Matthew, I this really stood out to me that our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy so obviously there's different translations go ahead and look at the other ones and I have also I'm just reading this from the new living translation it really spoke to me because I never really stopped to think about the fact that God is holy that when we enter into conversation with him that there should be a certain amount of respect that's given to him and uh so I kind of just dwelled on that and then for a little while I didn't even know how to pray because I came to the conclusion that how am I supposed to even bring my mere tiny baby request to the uni the creator of the whole universe? How how are my prayers even worth saying to him? So anyways, I kind of went like this, this spiral of not knowing what to do and then, you know, being on fire and praying and stuff like that. So, so our, our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. So I think it's really important that we do look at God that way, that he is holy. There should be a reverence for him and it, it shouldn't just be, anyways, I shouldn't say it shouldn't be, it's just for me. I 
felt that I was coming into prayer with him a little too casually and that I needed to show God some more respect. And that can look different for different people, right? So then the next line says, may your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, to me, this means just because I'm praying my prayers, that doesn't mean that God's will is my will. And so to come to God and say, God, you are holy and let your will be done, not mine. I think for myself, that's the place that I needed to get to where I recognize how holy God is and that I realize that not everything I ask for will come true if he's not a genie, right? Like we've heard before. And so that's all I'm going to talk about is just those two passages and all right, so it's discussion time. So leave your comments below about prayer. What do you think about prayer? And is there anything you want to share with the community about your revelations or how you have changed and evolved as a person? My experiences that I shared are just my own journey. So once again, don't take that as that's how you should be doing it. But uh, feel free to share your thoughts and your wisdom, your revelations, or whatever you might want to share with, uh, with other people. And hopefully that they can be encouraged by it. I hope that you have a blessed day. And don't forget that God loves you. Bye.